profiles. Um, it'll let you know about your soul bond, garden, your aeroponics, hydroponics. Basically, GE Appliances is wanting, uh, is promoting a healthier lifestyle living, right? Um, so this will keep track of everything that's in your kitchen down to what's inside your refrigerator. If um, if your tomatoes are going to go bad in like two days or so, you'll get notified and things like that as well. It'll also give you uh, health benefits of like uh, butter lettuce, protecting your heart, lower blood pressure, also for that um, with the vegetables and produce that you're growing. So right here we have our vertical garden. Tell them about so that. So all the stuff that you're growing there in your vertical garden is going to be here in your vertical garden. All the soil. <laughs> so, sorry. Uh, so the, you've got two different systems here located on the vertical garden: aeroponic system and hydroponic system. By using these two systems here and uh, eliminating soil, this eliminates pathogens and any contamination, and it also grows three times faster. You can plant anywhere from your herbs on uh, uh, right there in the aeroponic system. Down to your leafy greens, we've got lettuce, you can do kale, you can even do your root vegetables like carrots, beets, potatoes, tomatoes, and we still have your soil garden for any bigger items like oranges, pears, tree, uh, apples, what have you. And then once we have all of these items, we can then take it over to our island hub and start prepping. So I'll have you guys come over here and see some of these awesome features of the island, the homegrown island. So uh, right here, sometimes your recipes will call for a certain amount of like slices or a certain uh, amount of uh, the weight, like two ounces or four ounces of things. So this is uh, your cutting board and it's for precision cutting. Because some of us are not like our great chef over here in our smart kitchen as well too. So with this, um, if it calls for four slices or three slices, it'll adapt to your uh, user interface for those recipes. So you'll place your, um, your meat or your fruit or vegetables and you'll have even precise cutting. The reason why you want to do that is you want your food to cook evenly. So of course we're just chopping away and then you'll have your food that's not cooking um, evenly and you can overcook it and um, cook out the nutrients of it as well too. This right here, um, GE appliances have taken the guest workout of if you have an, uh, uh, if you have a recipe and it calls for like four ounces of fish or four ounces of protein that day, instead of trying to guess it, just put it right over here into the scale. They'll weigh out the perfect amount for your recipe. You'll be good to go. Now I love steamed vegetables, right? She does. She loves broccoli. It's her favorite. So if you have your rooted vegetables or anything like that and you want to steam them after you slice them or so, you can pull this right over here, click it over to steam, place all your vegetables in, close it right here, it'll steam it. Now you have your steamed vegetables that you can conveniently add to your recipe, right? Um, if you also have a, your garden, is like say you make a spinach, kale salad, you have strawberries, you can throw all of those in there as well too, get tossed. Close this up, go mix everything together, and now you have your salad ready to go for your recipe. As you can see, the kitchen is actually double-sided, and it's um, curved. We have that just so most kitchens have you confined to one space, right? And you're all over here trying to prepare. Well, and now we love that you guys are in our home for a wonderful dinner party, and both of us, we love yeah, to cook, so exactly. you can cook on this side and cook on this side. So we want to too. interact with everyone while we're having a good time, right? So it doesn't confine you at one location here. You can go to the bar, you can go to the UI, UX screen, and still be able to access your cooktop. Now this cooktop is uh, with the, the induction heating technology. So it will scan once you put your pot onto the um, stove top, it'll scan to see how big or how small your pot is. And then it will evenly um, heat uh, your the temperatures of whatever you're cooking. Um, quickly, fast, even temperatures for even cooking. Also, with, it has a safety feature. So the minute you remove, if your pot is like boiling hot water, if you actually touch the eye, it'll be cool to touch because it's not recognizing the principle of metal that's in your induction heating as well. Yep, and also be cautious here. The pot will be hot, so make sure you use it <laughs> protection there while hot, handling hot things, all right? So uh, come you right on over right here. Yeah, this is one right of my up. favorite you definitely want to see features. screen. Of, of the uh, homegrown kitchen. So this is the same user interface as it is up here, right? But it's actually built into your workstation. So just making everything um, convenient. This is a food recognition software. So you can place one of your items on, it'll scan your item, and then it will recognize that this is a tomato and give you the nutritional facts of the item that you just scanned. The protein, the fat, the carbs, and have the recipes as well. Now sometimes, we don't want, we're trying to conserve on wasting and throwing away items, right? So sometimes you may have some just random
random items that are left over, maybe spinach, uh, uh, onions, and peppers, right? And you're like, what am I going to make with that? I have no idea. This will also um, uh, keep track of everything that's in your refrigerator, like I was saying, and give you those recipes that you may not have known, like, oh, there's a soup. Now you can use all of those along with your herbs that you have, and you can serve on um, your food as well. Even up to leftovers as well. Yeah. And so we have like fruits and vegetables such as avocados, which he loves avocados. I do. Avocados are very delicious, good in fatty oil. But the thing is, avocados and other fruits it can be very difficult for you to actually know if it's ripe or not. I've actually personally had the experience of buying a fresh avocado. I took it home that same evening, cut my salad, and cut, cut it up, brought to the core. I mean, right. how do we avoid that? And then I just had to waste it. How do we avoid that? Right, so again with your food recognition system, so things such as avocados, watermelons, you're not sure if they're ripe or not, or if they're overripe, you put it right back to your food recognition system, it begins to scan it. Oh, those are people, okay, kind of got to It begins to scan <laughs> Let's see if this one, there we go. Picked up, that must have been a rotten avocado, probably no, already. So it. it shows that this is an avocado, the nutrition facts, and explore the recipes, and then a message pops up and it says, oh, your item is under right. It recommended wait is two days, right? So now I know that this, I don't have to cut into it and waste it, right? Because of that, like a cool, cool little fridge layer. So then you, I would take this avocado, put it into our smart fridge. It will regulate the temperature. You will have a perfectly ripe fruit or vegetable in two days. So have him, you'll just talk like, about your smart yeah. refrigerator now. So this is our climate control refrigerator. We've got a freezer and even pantry. So with this pantry, again, uh -huh. you can set the, the climate. So if you want to have any, uh, if you have certain uh, perishables like cereal, bread, or anything like that, if you want it to last longer, that's going to help you out. Also, when you get into your climate control refrigerator, you've got different drawers here that you can put different items in there. If you want to put fruits, vegetables, uh, sorry, fruits, vegetables, cheese, meats, that will then set the different humidity and temperature for its optimal freshness and for it to last even longer, right? And now other items you're still able to uh, order as well. So you actually, we already have smart devices and smart UI uh, appliances from GE that actually allow you to order these items via Amazon, via Fresh, via even Whole Foods now. And you can order those items using those uh, UI screens. I think that's it, right? Did we miss anything on the fridge? Um, that's it. where yeah, is the ice maker? Oh. I like ice, crushed ice, uh, ice cubes, I need. Do you think we forgot? I guess we gotta get the text. Oh, no, actually, if everybody comes over here, this is really one of the coolest features what? that I absolutely love. We have the Going smart faucet. So on the smart faucet, it will actually dispense ice right from the faucet. Instant ice, instant cubes. As soon really as it hits the air. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Um, also, the smart faucet will filter your water, which that technology is out there, but it's all packaged together. It'll filter your water. It'll also dispense alkaline water too, which has a lot of health principles and um, health benefits as well. Um, if you like uh, flat or if you like sparkling, I like flat. He likes sparkling. I like sparkling. It's good for digestion, especially after you have a long, pretty big meal, huh? <laughs> It'll dispense carbonated water as well too. Um, again, GE Appliances is promoting a healthy lifestyle, so of course there are things such as you're taking multivitamins and supplements and things of that nature. This will also, you can customize and it'll disperse um, minerals and vitamins that will uh, go directly into your water as well too. Another cool feature here on the Smart Faucet, it actually has a finger recognition here. With the finger recognition scanner, it'll actually detect your hydration levels and vitamin deficiencies. And where are we going to get that from? Right from the faucet. Right, so you might say, okay, I'm drinking enough water, I'm getting my eight glasses of water a day, I don't need any more. But are you really? Well, I don't know, let's check. So if I put my fingerprint right here, the um, user interface recognizes the profile that I already have, and I'll say, hey, Nikki, you're dehydrated. You need two Morning. glasses, two glasses of water. I probably need 20. I need to drink more water today. Yeah. So then I would go ahead and then disperse those with that water as well. So again, we want to make sure everything is 360, comes around, recyclable. So right here we have. 
So we've already finished eating, we've already gotten our hydration, we're gonna wash dishes, we're gonna put them in our dishwasher. But before we get there, we've got a recycling bin. So we can then access all that here. We got a recycling bin. So we put in your ones and two items. Uh not just any of your plastic bags though, any of the threes and fours and things like that. Right. Not recyclable. Hashtag broken on Netflix. I don't get any pay for that saying that, I'm just saying education is uh, is key. We also have a composite bin. Yeah. That is actually automatically vacuum sealed to eliminate any smells. It also creates really cool uh, compost bugs that can, go, that can go back into your soil garden and re-nourish your entire system. Right, so you'll just, so you'll see there's not a garbage disposal right here. So as soon as your uh, refrigerator says, oh, those tomatoes are bad, those apples are bad, don't put it in the garbage disposal. We don't have that. Put it in the compost, close it, vacuum seal it, press uh, power, you have your compost. It'll provide the nutrients. Also, with the filtration system, with the water, it will filter into the gray water. It's filtered into the dishwasher that's right here. There's two components of the dishwasher that you can see if you have a smaller unit as well. So you know sometimes when you just maybe have one or two dishes to wash, instead of filling up your entire dishwasher, it'll conserve your water as well. With that just place it in the smaller dishwasher at the top. But Super the cool, convenient. The coolest thing is is the filtered gray water actually. Um, the filtered gray water actually irrigates the entire, your entire produce and vegetation system, right? So guess what? You never have to water your plants, which I like because my thumb is not green. I feel a bit moved, people, so seriously. I so, feel a second. Well, I, well, yeah, it's not green. So everything, uh, GE appliances, again, is taking the guesswork out of everything. Right here, you're able to grow and maintain your own produce, your own vegetables. Um, for not having chemicals or anything like that, saving on water, removing um, uh, waste of your food items and things like that. So this is homegrown concept kitchen of the future by GE 